everybody, my name is Spammels, and welcome back to what should be the final episode of Firewatch. It's been an amazing story so far, full of twists and turns, but sadly, the only twist remaining is how is it going to end. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome back to the game! So here we are, we're in our Firewatch Tower, and if you remember rightly, it's time to leave. The fire has gotten even bigger. The fire that started off with the June fire, it merged with the Science Camp fire to make a mega fire. It's out of control. Delilah has told us there's helicopters coming in to pick us up. I believe she said that? I can't actually really remember the last episode, but she has told us we have to leave the tower to gather our stuffs, and we're gone. Uh, tracker, that's the wrong button. There we go. This thing, that's my radio. Where's the tracker? There it is. The tracker's beeping. Something's important happening over there. Okay, well, let's go find out. So, away we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's Forest Burns? We're not going anywhere without Burnsy. Well, you can even hear the crackling of the fire if I stop talking. <laughs> Burnsy! What are you doing? You've been drinking. Hi, buddy. I thought you were gonna leave me behind. Oh, Burns, I'd never leave you behind. <laughs> He's flammable. He's a bit scared of fire. Right. Come on, door. Well, where'd Burns go? Burnsy? You still with me? Hi, I'm never leaving you. Okay. This might get annoying. I might have to leave him somewhere and come back for him. Oh, oh God. It, just, it creeps me out how he disappears like that. Where am I going? I need my doodads. I've not got enough hands. I need to drop Burns. Okay, we're going to drop him off at the base of the tower. And we'll come back for him, okay? Burnsy! Fuck, oh, where, where'd you go? Where? Oh, no, 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 no. Where the fuck did he go? Burnsy! Oh, there you are. Jesus Christ, you scared the shit into me. Never leave me! Oh, okay, I won't. Okay, try to park him there. There you go. Right, remember he's there like a fucking corpse outline in a crime scene. Where does this thing point me? Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, bring that even closer to the face. West. Map me. Where does West lead? I can't remember where my evacuation point is. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Is there a transcript of what just happened in the last scene? Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -da. No, there's not. Okay, well, I hear the helicopters or airplanes or whatever the fuck they are. Let's go this way. Ah, to run because that's the button it be. So, I've, I've, I'm sad to see this ending. It, the channel's been doing so well, like, story-wise at the moment. From Life is Strange ending to now this. These are two really big, massive stories. And it's just, it's weird to have two big things ending at the same time. I don't want it to end. I really enjoy being in this game. And I fucking hate trees. I enjoy being in this game. And I've enjoyed uh, such a high quality story. I don't know when it's going to be till the next time we get such a high quality story. But I'm sure we will. The games will always be coming out. This is just another notch on the belt, as it were. Be Fox Lookout. Okay. I'm following this beep. I don't know what's going on with the beep. Last time it sent us to a tracking collar that was on a bag that had a, an alarm on it. And I forgot what was even in the fucking bag. It's the problem. I play this weekly. And while I remember for the most part, most of the stuff, there's a lot of stuff. What's your I status? Oh. Getting I close. Think I'm getting close. Alright. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna go to Delilah's pad and get evacuated. I guess she maybe didn't say. No, she did mention the helicopters were gonna come pick us up. I swear she did. I mean, if she didn't, it's fucking obvious. There's a fire. It's a very big forest. And I don't want to be crispy bacon. But that was the other thing. Like there was this urgency in the last episode, of course, we found the body of Brian Goodwin and uh, his father, Ned, but Goodwin's still missing. We suspect Ned is the one that is stalking us. Well, it's possible. I mean, I, I've had time to think about things. And if it's not him, then maybe he also fell victim to whoever is stalking us. But I don't know. It, the, the pieces of the puzzle are kind of falling into 
place and this is going crazier and crazier. Henry? Uh, no, no, no. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Oh my god, Henry! Oh my god! Can I rip off this key? Yoink. Can we listen to that now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, hi, Henry. Ned! Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... It, I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. Be because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Can I not reply to this? You need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Fair for map updated. Okay, so there you go. Mystery revealed. But wait a second, I have unanswered questions. Like, there was that listening station. Are we to think that Ned's found it, abandoned, and then took over control of it? And it was when he was- it was him using that to listen to us? And if so, why did he not butcher it for parts for this lovely accommodation he's rigged together here? So I take some photographs of this as evidence in case the police are like, we got some questions to ask you. There's a dead body somewhere. Lookout. Spruce! Spruce lookout! For Spruce lookout, the supplies. And I got blamed for supplies being taken. Right, let's get through this quickly. Campfire, that's amazing. Types draft. Can I read this? Oh, I can report this. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Okay, well, that's a great conversation, Jolida. Thank you very much. What is this? He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. Ah. <sighs> I bet. That's how he got in. There's a, a couple of entrances to Whippity Station. Staff returning August temps to do. Return borrowed equipment, race hate, hard drive evidence, leave no trace. Oh, so the scientists, they were there doing legitimate exercises and then they left and they were going to come back on August temps. So for that time period, Ned moved in and was borrowing their equipment. Can I keep this? Keep that and pick this up. Gonna keep that. Keeping all this evidence. Old typewriter. Maybe that's why he likes mine so much. Another report draft. Is this for for Henry? Baba guilty. Fuck. <laughs> that's a great little mark draft copy there. What about this? Uh, that's Delida. Not really much to say there. 
Report on the grounds? Why is it on the ground? Henry, uh... No kid's abandoned wife would not be missed if removed. It's a lot more sinister than the ones I'm accustomed to. I mean, the official one, the official one, said that we were, um, what, respectable, dependable? Ah. Uh... To a rad, bad, mega dad. Oh, damn it. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice looking kid. Massive nose. And a book. That's the rules for the, the board game. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Well, Delilah's got some sass to her. She is not happy. Teen Zone. Ranked and rated. Dangerous hunks. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Oh, what's this? A copper? Why am I fucking like, oh my god, what is this? It is some sort of magical utensil for carrying hot water that doesn't burn you when you get the fuck out of here. Uh, disassembled radio. <gasps> is that the one that we threw in the lake? This boombox looks familiar. From the girls? Yeah. I thought you threw it into the lake. Well, he must have fished it out. He's repairing it. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're could... in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I've got three photos left. I need to... Oh, that's a nice... That's gonna be nice. Oh, there's the lookout. How about that? Is that frames nicely enough for everybody? Got the wind chime top left. Cooler bottom right. Notes on the wall. And the lighthouse, more or less, just off center. I, I like photography. I've, I've done my dabbling with photographs and stuff. Uh, stakes too high. Oh, this is like his own reports. Make sure they find them. Oh, the tapes. Uh, he, the reports are... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Uh, so, um, on the uh, 16th of... Uh, fucking the 7th. They heard me fully believe there was a program. Use this. So they go in with the, the uh, program theory. He's made up the final reports. And he's making sure that we find the reports. He's trying to throw the scent off of him existing. And there being this, this fucking thing. Uh, two forks almost caught me at the site. Reports worked. Recorded call. Used for leverage. Two forks found supplies. Keys gone. How? Can't let two forks find B. Oh. Ah. Oh. Brian. Yeah, they can't let me find Brian. Well, I did find Brian. Radio station. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Oh, you can see both the towers from here as well. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Uh, the, report the view. He had quite the view. She doesn't care, mate! Harrod Crawford St Stevens room. Yeah, I like book. And drop the book. Beer can! I'm gonna keep that for later as evidence. Yes. Radio logs. Uh, first ranger fly fishing reminder blah de, blah 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 haven't left base in two weeks three weeks so uh, crazy big hike tomorrow cave new lookout in two forks henry saw two forks coming out of cave calling for hikers list delay her she'll forget ah oh. ah oh. and this hikes to bp bt point severed radio comms it was it was ned he's done that then uh, D never called for hiker list. Re-rigged Dolorano to pick up dual frequency. And here Dan to Dan two folks co concurrently. Oh, because he called another radio station and interfered. Uh, two folks hiked by the cave. Seems less interested. It's creepy to think that this guy's been stalking us and watching us this entire time. D's drunk again. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hold on to that. Last one. Boosh. 
Uh, get a room! <laughs> That's when they get horny with each other. Uh, fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder, hide supplies for migration. That's him finding a new home. D and two forks suspect conspiracy. Funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas. Start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Pin on two... F he was going to vandalize her tower? Try to make a remote recording device. Uni research site. Move. Pit against each other. What a dick. He was really going to try and fuck things up between us. I just wanted to be here and kind of forget about my life's worries. And here's you are trying to make my life's worries more worryful. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. And he doesn't care. She not even listening to you. Okay, well, I think we're done here. We've got a photo of the main entrance and there. I think we're good. So let's carry on. I've only got like two photos, two photos left. We're going to save them. Put the camera down. There we go. Wee! Up and out. Yeah, you do. Okay. Part of the trash. It is just trash. Oh, there's a cinder block. Is this what I threw down the toilet that one time? Uh, uh. Oh, way to go, Henry, you badass motherfucker. Should I close the door? Uh, maybe I can stop the, the fire getting in. The fire's gonna get in. Okay, well, we're back to the tower, and then we'll pick up uh, Forest Burns, and then head to Delilah's all the way to the north. Map me. Oh, she, oh, I even got an escape route on the thing. Evac point. Okay, so where the fuck am I again? Bunker. Okay, just, just get back to the... I don't know where my fucking tower has gone anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Two forks. Wow, I'm really far over to the west. I didn't realize how far west I am. Okay, well, let's just get back east. Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. So just to kind of take stock of everything, almost kind of wrap up this big story in a nice pretty bow for people that may be a bit confused or... Maybe have forgotten some things and before they start speaking as well. We came here because our wife, she had Alzheimer's disease. She forgot me. She forgot our life. She was dying and just it was difficult to live. So we came here seeking, I don't know, solitude to escape our troubles. We met Delilah. She's our boss, technically. And she's on the... I'm heading west still. Oh, damn it. Hang on, hang on. I see the picture I'm going the right way. Follow this path? Is it even a path? Eh. East. That way. Go! Put that shit down. Go! We met Delilah. She's kind of our boss. And things they started off kind of okay. We was moving in and gradually adjusting to life in the watchtower. We had these girls launching fireworks. We went and fucked up their shit. That's what we did. Is that the way I just fucking went? I can't remember. If it is, I'm going to be kind of upset. No, it's different because there's no sign saying Henry. The girls were launching fireworks. We went over there and we just trashed their radio and fucked up their shit. They were not best pleased. Later on, those girls were reported missing. On the way back to our watchtower, we bumped into a mysterious figure in the woods who has now been revealed as Ned. He confirms this in his notes about nearly getting caught. Ned was the previous tower watcher that we're in and he went missing along with his son now his son died in a climbing accident falling into the cave ned was reluctant to call the authorities i know i should be relieved relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire relieved that we're not crazy that there wasn't some conspiracy but i'm not it was a sweet kid with a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think it was an accident. I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? Sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. I'll oh, put the map down quickly to reply. 
Uh, don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. No, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay, I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. I'm not far. Okay. And she's gone. Burnsy, do you know how difficult it is to freaking walk with you in my face? Never leave me behind. Never leave me. Oh, calm the fuck down, you cardboard motherfucker. You're gonna be fine. I'm made out of wood. More wood than your balls. Okay, he's getting angry. I think he's just a bit scared because all well, there's fire around us. Whee! Boink. Um, yeah, Delilah's got some bit. I might check the map. Hang on, am I going the right fucking way? Burnsy, down. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I'm going the right way. We go past the cave. And take a left or a right. It's fine. Um, Delida has some real conflictive issues going on right now. She's right. Like, does she report the dead body in the cave? If she does, then she must acknowledge well, what that the kid was there to begin with, which he totally shouldn't be there, and that Ned is still alive. That will start a manhunt for looking for Ned. Or does she just stay silent and, you know, live long and prosper? I think at this point, I don't know. Oh, should I go through? The, I got to go through the cave. Damn it! Come on, Burns, are you gonna go caving? Yay! I don't know if it's the right or wrong answer, but I think maybe she should just stay quiet. Uh, the the kid's dead. He's he's not gonna get any less dead. And uh, I don't know. It's it's a selfish thing. It's not her fault he died. She. There's no reason why she needs to be punished for his death. I mean, I guess you could argumentally say, well, Ned needs to be accountable for the accident and needs to, you know, serve his time or whatever, you know? I don't know. All right, I'm going to have a think about that when we get to the end. Now, let's just quickly finish recapping the whole story as we make our way north. Um, and the, Yeah, Ned was in the tower before the rest of his kid. The kid should not have been there, period. But Delilah kind of let it happen. We move in. Yeah, so the kid goes missing, the kid dies. Ned goes missing. We move in. We take over the tower. Ned, he had a soft spot for Delilah. He loved listening to her talk on the radio. A record you just don't want to flip. And um, at first, he's kind of just like observing us. Oh, music's changed. He's just observing us. And I think he begins to panic because we're getting a little bit too close to him. There's a building here. What's this? It's an old outhouse. Okay. He begins to panic because we're getting too close to him. And then he's worried about us finding him and finding uh, Brian. But he takes over that science camp. He creates this ruse that we're a part of an investigation, a, a science experiment to take us off the... There's the tower. Take us off the, the scent, as it were. And it works! It totally fucking works! It's conspiracy theory. But it works! Should I follow these cables? Map me. Burns you down a second. Uh, yeah, follow the tele... That's so fucking helpful. Yeah, follow the telegraph poles for the most part. Okay. Burnsy, we're nearly there! Yeah, it totally works. We're duped into thinking we're part of a science experiment and go with it. But then I guess Ned ruins it 
by recording the messages and leaving it as blackmail. Uh, that was a that was a mistake right there. He shouldn't have done that because it it lit a bonfire underneath of us that made things worse. He also should not have destroyed that science camp. Why did he do that? Because that just uh, being a, a, a former watch tower operator, he knows just as much as me and Delilah how dangerous a fire can be here. And with the June fire already there, I guess he did it to cover his tracks. He didn't want to be found. He was going to burn all evidence. And he was going to migrate and disappear all over again. How can one truly disappear? He spent three years out here living rough. I mean, it's like, it's like the whole castaway situation. Like, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Hang on. Uh, mm, mm. It's good to have liquids on you. Burnsy, stop hiding in the bush! Oh shit, is this the dead end? Burnsy down! Yeah, I need to come off this hill and follow the path round. Okay, Burnsy! Um, what was I just fucking saying? Yeah, it's like being in Castaways, you know, that Tom Hanks film. You can do a lot of things by yourself and get it by just fine. And once you kind of adapt to learning where your food source is, in this case, he was taking food from... Oh, damn it. Clear it. Yes, fire axe. Action! It's the most manly swings ever. Burnsy, I'm not leaving you behind, man. So he was taking food from the lookout station. So that's a great supply of food. Awesome. He made a little house for himself. That's easy going. Life is complete. But it's the second you get sick, or if you need the tooth taken out, or something like that. The second you slip and have a fall and break a bone. That's when life gets extremely difficult. Because that's typically things you really can't do on your own. If you've had training, you can kind of mend a patch here and there. But ultimately, like, we need society, we need each other, we can't just be alone. Even if it was a mental sake. Drop down. Whee! Here it comes, and sploosh. Oh, Burnsy. Um, two Forks, Jonesy Lake, for a fair supply drop. That way, then. Supply drop is the right way. Down, Burnsy. I gotta keep checking the map just to make sure. Yeah. So we're gonna take a right from the supply drop. We're very nearly there. The story is nearly complete. So, yeah, he starts his mega fire. He's migrating. He knows we found the key. We found, he didn't know we took the tracking collar. He hid the key there with the tracking collar so that he could find the key if he ever wanted to again, I suppose. And then once we'd found Brian, you know, all the cards were on the table. There's the, the car. So, yeah, that's why he finally revealed himself to me. And... And stuff. Cable car. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Oh, for fuck's sake. She's gone and left, hasn't she? Oh, God. Can I... Um... One second, Burnsy. I'm not gonna go without you, Burnsy. I can't get in whilst holding Burnsy. Climb. Climb. Oh, fuck me. I got Burnsy. Hi. I need to throw you into the cable car, okay? Okay. What could go wrong? Well, I could drop you. What? You might fall. I don't know if there's collision on this. What do you mean? It means you're a computer game and th there might not be a physical surface for you to land on. You're talking shit again. Burnsy, mate. It's gonna be fine. Believe. Everybody in the comments, believe in the Burnsy. This is gonna be it. And... Oh. Mate, I don't want to lose you. Hang on, let's have a photo. One last... He's hiding. He doesn't like being on camera. Hang on, no, 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 no. Oh, this might take a second. I really want a good photo. Stop landing on your face. He's like front heavy, I swear. Come on, come on, come on. Stop falling that way. Jesus fucking titty Christ. Perfect. Right. The lookhouse dead center, more or less. The cable car leading off. No cut. No, nice, nice, nice. Got one photo left. We're going to use that to take a photo of our rescue. Okay? Right, Burnsy. If this doesn't work, 
Thank you for being my friend, for keeping me company out here in the middle of nowhere. Here we go. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You can fit through that door. On the roof. Oh, come on. Get closer. Burnsy? Burnsy! Burnsy! He's gone. He, f he just disappeared. He fell into a fucking cliff. There was a bit of hope inside of me that he could actually come. I thought that it would, it would work out okay. God damn it. I'm sorry, Bertie! Oh, I'm sorry! That's scary as fuck. But cool as fuck at the same time. I could have fun on that. Oh, man. No, oh, Bertie! So here we are. Delilah's Watchtower. Fucking got it! There's no forest birds! We hiked up from the, the cable car, I suppose. Okay, wow, well, there's been radio silence. Don't hold on to your money, that Delilah's freaking there. We asked her to wait. Like a fool, I actually thought she would. Maybe this is why she became a watchtower inspector, watcher, person herself. <gasps> a lettuce toilet! Have a good time! Aww. I mean, mine's got a cinder block inside of it. Hers is pretty nice. And she doesn't need the generator running all the time. Yeah, for like, maybe this is why she's out here. Maybe she's a great people person over the phone, over the internet. Oh, God, it's a nightmare out there. Hello? Delilah? She's gone, mate. She's gone. Maybe she's scared of people. And the thought of actually meeting me in reality was too far. Oh, damn it. Maps, charts. It reminds me of, of uh, Robin Williams in Night in the Museum. <laughs> a nicely made bed. I mean, if you look at my my watchtowers, trash everywhere. Oh, she didn't do the dishes. Jesus. Bermos, put it back. He put it back. In my place, I just throw it on the ground. Yeah, fuck it. There, like, like that. There you go. Back to form. Oh, where's her underwear? Where's her underwear? We can go sniffing. Okay, let's not do that. That's a bit rude. Radio. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? <gasps> There's me! Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. <laughs> You're not here. Don't be mad. Well, I, I am. I'm disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just... You're not mad? You're just disappointed? I'm not your dad after you got busted smoking pot. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. You could have just said that. You really wanted me to stay. I did. And now I'm... Disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> yeah. I know. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock... We found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Uh, come to Boulder with me. Move to Santa Fe. You'd make a good shrink. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. 
Ooh. Just, just a thought. <laughs> no. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I have to move on. It, she won't recognize me. I, I have to move on. I've, uh, I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I have to find some way to move on. Something to do. What if you can't? Then that's why God invented booze, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I gotta move on. Somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Thanks, Delilah. I appreciate it. I mean it, Henry. Good luck. Thanks. Bye, Hank. <laughs> she has to head with her, Hank. Oh, fucking hell. I wanted to meet her. And it's obvious, like, this guy had some feelings towards her throughout this time here. And we like full on invited her to come be with us, and she got fucking full on rejected us. God damn it! Look at this. Got this nice little panoramic photo here. Old school style. Oh man. Okay. It is time to say goodbye. All of this, just like us, is nothing but ash in the wind. That's the helicopter. It'd be down there somewhere. So. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know anymore! First Forrest Burns leaves me, then Delilah leaves me, and now I'm sure the helicopter's gonna leave me behind or something like that. I don't know, because everything else in my life leaves me. My wife left me! <laughs> my sanity's leaving me. Okay. We're gonna take our last photograph. And I think... I don't know. I don't know if it should be the, uh, the watchtower or the helicopter. Well, it's a bit too dark. I don't know, should it be the last memory being the person who deserted us? Or should it be how I escaped? What the hell? <laughs> There's another one just over there, just hovering. Okay, let's take it off this. Oh, come on, give me a break in the wind. And don't you dare cut to like a cutscene or something. I'm scared it's going to go to a cutscene, so I'm going to take it a bit further back. I'd like to get a lot closer. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mate, mate, I know you're waiting for me. Come on, don't fuck this shot, don't fuck this shot. Last photo! Took it! Shutterbug achievement unlocked. Okay. Closer, damn it! Oh, I wanted that to be my final shot! I took a screenshot. That'll have to do! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's sad! I'm sad. This game was lovely. <laughs> oh, I really, really, really enjoyed this. This is a, a really nice, really nice story. Didn't quite have the ending I had hoped. But then maybe that's a better reflection on what real life is like. You don't always get what you want. Oh, I'm tearing up. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, there's our photographs in reverse order. Okay. Oh, Burnsy. 
I'm gonna miss that fucking bastard. I, I'm, that's really fucking cool. It actually captured all the photos. I think we started taking those as evidence to to prove that we're not crazies. <laughs> Burns is upside down. <laughs> oh, and then by death. Burnsy happiness! Dead Brian! Hey, hey, hey! No, fuck it. My tower. I took two of my tower. How dumb is that? <laughs> oh, the, the beginning of the fire. This has actually kind of inspired me to go... Oh, like, we, everything's digital. Every phone has a camera on it nowadays. Like, there's no taxation to take multiple photographs. You can always delete it, but with a... With a, well, a disposable camera like this, you know, it's like you got one shot and you commit it. How cool would it be to take a proper disposable on a holiday and like have a memory a wheel like this, a highlights wheel? Like another one of the fire? Oh, yeah, I thought it had developed the camp. Again, this is the evidence now. That's the missing girls. Beautiful scenery. Hey, that's me when I first got the camera! <laughs> so there, there was already a couple of photos on the on the reel. <laughs> that's Brian! That'd be Ned. Amazing game! <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's fucking hard to wipe your eyes when you got fucking glasses on. Urgh! I really fucking loved this. I really did. And it's over. Really wish it wasn't. I don't know why I'm getting so fucking emotional. Life is strange had a sadder ending than this. Oh! <laughs> Scream through the pain. Okay. Well, this has been Firewatch. If you've enjoyed this, leave a comment down below for your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to check out the studio behind this and send them a lot of love. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Great comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.